Let's solve question number 29. So we have to find out the summation of this series where the general term tn equals to n upon n minus 2 factorial plus n minus 1 factorial plus n factorial, right? Now, a common method to solve these kind of problems is to create a different series. And how do we do that? We try to write this general term in a form of k upon a n multiplied by a n plus 1, right? Now, this can be written as k times 1 upon a n minus 1 upon a n plus 1. This is a very standard method to create a different series, right? So basically, we have to create a product of two consecutive numbers in the denominator, right? So let's try to do that. So this becomes n upon n minus 2 factorial plus n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 factorial basically writing n minus 1 factorial as n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 factorial okay now this can be written as n n minus 1 n minus 2 factorial okay now we can take n minus 2 factorial as common now we are left with 1 plus n minus 1 plus n times n minus 1 right which is n square minus n okay now this n and this n gets cancelled out this one and this one gets cancelled out so what we are left with tn equals to n upon n minus 2 factorial multiplied by n square so this and this gets cancelled out so what we are left with 1 upon n minus 2 factorial multiplied by n but this doesn't make any sense why because we are not having a product of two consecutive numbers over here right so what we can do, we can try to split the numerator so that we can have a different series, right? So we can multiply and divide by n minus 1. So this becomes n minus 1, n minus 2 factorial, n minus 1, and n. And this becomes n minus 1 upon n factorial, right? Now we can write this as tn equals to n upon n factorial minus 1 upon n factorial. Now n upon n factorial would be 1 upon n minus 1 factorial minus 1 upon n factorial now we can see that we have created a different series okay and now let's try to find out the value of sigma tn okay so sigma tn equals to t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 till tn right so t1 equals to 1 upon 0 factorial minus 1 upon 1 factorial t2 equals to 1 upon 1 factorial minus 1 upon 2 factorial t3 equals to 1 upon 2 factorial minus 1 upon 3 factorial and tn would be 1 upon n minus 1 factorial minus 1 upon n factorial. I can see that terms are getting cancelled diagonally, right? So what we're left with, sigma tn would be 1 minus 1 upon n factorial, okay?